I heard there was this place somewhere between Vietnam and Siam, the, the grass grows a shade of green tinted auburn by the blood of those who used to cultivate the soil. And if you listen close enough, as the wind blows across each blade, you can hear the whispers of stories. And sure, maybe they're just stories. But sometimes the strangest truths can be found in fiction. He was a Brahmin prince, and she his cobra queen. Their marriage brought together the very moon and sun, and you thought your anniversary was romantic. <laughs> this land, it became known as Cambodia. Now, I wish I could tell you that this place, like most places born of fairy tale origins with gods where founding fathers turned out to be just as well. Well, it didn't. Sometimes life is complicated. Sometimes Shiva does his dance and brings the rain. Sometimes France decides to make your land a part of their next campaign. And what can you do but hope that each grain of rice sustains you into the stains you bleed into the soil are finally uprooted by the monsoons? This is every day. Caught in the proverbial cobra clutch between communists, colonists, and other opportunistic nations, she is scattered. Divided amongst those who wish to build and those who were destroyed to begin anew. I heard there was this temple, it had walls that were about two miles wide, better plumbing than some places they have in Tennessee, but the jungle ate it. And I know jungles aren't alive, I know they don't have consciousness, but you'd be hard pressed to convince me otherwise. The way these vines are wrapped around the arms of stone deities, it was as if nature was trying to bring back something inspired by herself. I heard there were these fields that you can still smell the decay of lost hope and lives cut short by ideas gone awry, as they say the best laid plans of mice and men often do, but what consolation is that to a family whose ancestry is left alone in a shallow grave? Where does peace sleep during times like this? That's the 